Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kaguya Sama Love is War season 3 episode number 11 reaction. All right, the previous episode. Uh, we are in the festival and uh, the first that we think that we got to see in the previous episode was the haunted house and uh, it was really scary. They did a lot of things there. They made the whole uh, atmosphere very realistic. Uh, they put headphones on people so that like you know even sound can be there and it was it was really scary kavya and maki were just freaking out while <laughs> kashiwagi and her boyfriend were you know up to their stuff which after sh sh seeing that um you know decided to like you know divide male and female which completely destroyed ishigami's plan of going together with subame and uh, yeah so she, he was pretty bummed out while on the other hand we also got to meet a new character i wouldn't say but we got officially introduced um moeha i think that was her name which who is chica's one of chica's sisters and uh, apparently she likes the president and <laughs> chica tries to make her understand the president is really cannot do most of the stuff but <laughs> unfortunately it doesn't go like that this time shirogani does everything pretty well so moeha is even a lot more impressed kaga comes in kaga is not happy about moeha but by the end of it seeing that how moeha also kind of uh knows the good points of president she was quite excited and that's what happened and then the big thing of that episode happened where ishigami went to one of the um, stalls won a prize and decided to take a heart-shaped thing candy or something like a bread i think that was the bread and gave it to subame without knowing what it meant and it was treated as an official confession which unfortunately ishigami doesn't realize and she said like it'll take me time i'll give you my answer later and she ran away now the thing here is shirogane got to see that and shirogane realized like now he cannot confess unless and until ishigami gets an answer and if the answer is positive, then that's fine. If it's negative, then Shirogane cannot confess. Neither can Kaguya because uh, Ishigami is their friend. So that's a problem, like, you know, like a problem that might occur if he is rejected. We'll see what happens today, you know, like uh, I'm guessing, I'm not sure if it'll be today or on the next episode, but I'm sure Ishigami is going to get his answer. So everything uh, is on that so let's get started then this is episode number 11 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here think it whichever is a preference and let's begin all right here's the countdown three two one go final day <laughs> Wait, what? Damn, she's hallucinating now. Oh, damn. <laughs> she's just thinking about this. <laughs> Here you go. Is, is this about... No, wait. I thought it was about Ishigami. Oh, the balloon. The balloon is missing, the, the, those things. Okay. Phantom thief at large. Oh my god. This Detective Conan music theme going on. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Wow. Replacement balloon. Yeah. Well, obviously. Damn, she's too excited. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, he can make it now. Look at it. Like, you know, like in that previous episode, we saw how he wasn't able to do it. So he kept practicing and now he can do it. Mm. 
Oh boy. So, so there's another problem that sprung up. The whole phantom thief. Okay. I wonder who who did that. All right, let's see. Miku Shirogana wants to make, okay. <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, he wants, she wants one from Shirogane, so. Like that? <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. She's like, why? <laughs> yes. Yep, they. Yo, her eye. <laughs> Coincidence. And she can do it, he can do it properly now. Maybe a heart shaped one. That'll be. Good. There you go. There it is. <laughs> but that will mean, yeah, she's asking him for, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. What? <laughs> True. <laughs> Yo, her hand. Ah, that's a good idea to flip the whole thing. She's just going to, oh no. She's going to, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, okay, that, that's more like it. There you go. Kind of helped him out. <laughs> Best friend. All right. So does this count as a giving a heart to the other person? I think so. Yes, there you go. Hundred yen. What? Oh my God, yo. <laughs> okay, this is. Okay, this is. <laughs> 
All right, come on. This is the perfect chance. Yes. Like if you're willing to give, then you can only receive. Okay, what is that? Is it the neck? Is this the necklace? <laughs> oh my God! Stop. What? <laughs> she just ran away. <laughs> oh no! This was a perfect chance. He still doesn't realize what he did. Yo, the way she's running, what? <laughs> oh yeah, she doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't realize that, exactly! And he's like, what's happening? Oh my god. So wants to say no. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh boy. Well. Um. Well, there you go. Everything is settled. Teaching him is going to be rejected. Ah oh my god, okay. Oh and that's why she's <laughs> he doesn't even realize. Yeah. Oh. So she's thinking that if... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't realize. No! Oh my god! Uh. Oh my god <laughs> Gentle, okay <laughs> Yeah, that's true Damn these sound effects <laughs> she's like why because it's ishigami yeah it's ishigami oh my god here we go <laughs> she's like wait what <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, she also realizes it. Wait, what's happening inside? Yeah, you're the one who said that. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, it's, it's Chica, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, n wow, okay. What?
What's the right answer then? What type of an answer is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, then Oh my god w Okay, what the All right <laughs> yeah, is it really just oh my God. Ah! Oh, that's what she's talking about. Okay. Postponed. Postponed. <laughs> the funny thing is, Ishigami doesn't even realize that what he did. So, I guess for Ishigami, it's not a big deal, but. Shirogan and Kaguya cannot confess unless an answer until Miku Shirogan wants to make her confess. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what what was that envelope? Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, okay. Oh, my God, she's gonna be like, it's okay. I think Shogana will be like, there you go. Damn. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, because he. <laughs> Which is there? Oh, it's fortune telling. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? Before that, I think you will be more embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, he's just not even being obvious. Wait, what's happening today? Like, I understand Shirogane is trying to hurry.
How did she know? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Damn. Return evil if. Whoa, that's an interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you teach her. Oh, what? Crucial decision. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's also embarrassed. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, Chica. Oh no. She's going to, yeah, she's going to just. Oh, wait, she is. Oh yeah, she's she's trying to find out uh, the phantom thief. Okay, she won't be. All right, there you go. Who is doing this? Arsene. <laughs> exactly. Oh no, Ishigami. Yo, this is a full-on Resident Evil, or that type of a... Okay, thank god she's here. There you go. <laughs> yeah, she's keeping it on hold. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Choo 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 rose. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's me. Okay. Everything's working out. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's happening here? <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah, it's almost time. Okay, here we go. There's the envelope. Is he going to say that he's going abroad? He's probably going to say that he's going abroad. Oh my God. Ah, there you go. Oh. oh my god.
Ah, uh, the way this ended today. Well, at least she knows now, you know. <clears throat> okay, so Okay, that's it, I think. Yep. Oh boy, so there you go, this episode. Um, so, we begin this episode with the Phantom Thief. We don't know <laughs> who it is, but someone has taken all the balloons. And uh, yeah, now they're calling themselves Arsene. And uh, now, I'm kind of curious, who can this be and what even can be the actual motivations of uh, like, you know, doing this? Like, like, I was thinking maybe this is part of the whole school, like, you know, cultural festival. Someone like is like doing a, some kind of a thing to make it more excitable, but probably not. Like, I don't know, but obviously Chica is very excited. <laughs> she considers herself a detective a love detective so she's like yep it's my turn now i'm going to find out who did this <laughs> so yeah so that's why chica is preoccupied with that and uh, everything and everyone else is just doing their own thing okay so <clears throat> after that we see that uh because of the whole uh balloon thing the balloon commotion the whole art scenes like you know commotion uh Shiro, uh, shirogane's whole balloon art uh, thing has boomed off a lot of people are coming and uh, shinomiya uh shinomiya also came in and she was like all right this is my chance to get something from the president and uh, as soon as like you know like i saw that she's going there i knew it had to do something with a heart shaped balloon there will be something to do with that so uh, Maki was also there. Maki tried to go there, but uh, you know, like <laughs> Maki was like, "Let me do do something. Like, kind of make something for you." But <laughs> Kaguya was like, "No, it's okay. I don't have any problem." And obviously, Maki wanted just to thank her. Unfortunately, you know the way she behaves. <laughs> you know, typical Sundare. She she could not say that properly. That's why. <laughs> Either way, Shirogane. She goes towards Shirogane and. There you go, I knew it. All the heart, uh, like you know, balloon art with, within all of that, there was one of it which uh, was a heart shape. And so here comes the whole situation. Uh, Kaguya, if she asks Shirogane to make the heart shaped balloon, then obviously that will be, you know, Kaguya realized that that will be her saying that, oh, give me a heart shaped balloon, which is like, you know, like her confessing in a weird, like, you know, in a, in a reverse manner, you could say. And she doesn't want that. So, you know, the usual, the usual love is war is going on. So she does not want to do that. <laughs> so I loved the whole, each trying to kind of, you know, like reverse the situation, how they did it. At first, Kage was so excited. She was like, finally, I'm going to get something like in you know, a heart shape from the president. But then she realizes what that actually implies that she's asking for a heart. So she was like, Okay, here you go, President. Um, I do not want any kind of you know, animal-shaped balloons because if, like, you know, if it just 
uh, deflates i'll feel sad for it or like you know any type of uh like you know object something she, she, she kind of like you know just just takes out all of the possible chances and only the one with the heart is left <laughs> shirogane shirogane is like so okay thankfully here maki came in and no not maki sorry uh maki not maki kashiwagi kashiwagi came in and kashiwagi was like why not give you you give her the heart-shaped balloon and uh, i love the fact that shirogane was like okay make something gives it to her but for the payment he also wrote that you need another like you know, need to give another heart-shaped thing which is interesting kind of because i feel like like i was thinking about this like you know the heart-shaped balloon was one of the options so like i was thinking like why is not anyone asking for the heart-shaped balloon from shirogane because shirogane is pretty popular you know so if like you know if the person who probably likes shirogane sees that you know, they can easily come here and ask for the heart-shaped balloon but making the payment and as like you know another heart-shaped thing that that was i think like a clever way to actually you know not let other people who are not that serious about it go and get like a balloon a heart-shaped balloon from shirogane because they also need to give something of equal value that is like a heart-shaped thing which will probably make this thing a whole like you know confession like you know each of them kind of exchanging heart-shaped things so i don't know maybe because of that i guess nobody actually asked for a heart-shaped uh, balloon art from the president who knows but either way shirogane knew that yeah the person that is probably going to go for the heart-shaped balloon is definitely kaguya kaguya is definitely going to do that so he already <laughs> made it so that like you know like a heart-shaped thing should be exchanged for a heart-shaped balloon art and this was such a good opportunity you know for them to you, you could i guess you could say confess but obviously she uh, uh kaguya was not prepared for it she at first she was like okay i'm going to i'm going to give it to him and like you know the, the, there was that whole section of <laughs> it was suspense where she brings out something from from her hand gives it to shiragan and i'm like oh my god is she going to actually give the heart-shaped uh, uh like you know necklace to him which was too good to be true obviously <laughs> and there you go like you know my suspicions were correct <laughs> she wasn't able to do it she just tried to give him money <laughs> she kind of was like what the hell <laughs> and kage just runs away so there you go she doesn't still doesn't have the full courage to confess and uh, this was probably the best opportunity to like you know kind of get like a give a confession or shirogane was also willing to give like the heart shaped balloon to her because i like and you know at this point if uh shirogane gives the heart shaped balloon to her and she gives like the heart shaped necklace to him it would probably mean that they're confessing you know like because there's everyone just uh, there they're not like you know in, in the middle of all a lot of people everyone is going to watch that and obviously it will be like okay they like each other that kind of a thing it will be semi-official you could say i'm not going to say full official but it would be semi-official if they actually exchange heart shaped things which kaguya probably realized so she's still not ready for it so she just ran away she doesn't have the courage for it completely so yeah now she runs into subame now here like i was under the impression that subame, subame probably i don't know like I don't know what I expected even, but I thought like you know, since she was like you know so embarrassed and everything, I thought maybe she actually liked Ishigami. But turns out that's not completely the case. She's actually flustered because she doesn't want to, I guess, um make Ishigami sad. I think that's why she's flustered, isn't she? Like she said something, I remember uh, when she was talking to Kaguya at this moment. She said something about how a lot of people confessed to her who were just very casual like you know playboys they just came in and casually just confessed so she had no problem actually rejecting them because she realizes that it's nothing they'll just move on to someone else you know but for ishigami 
you know, she also realizes that Ishigami is not that type of a person. So she, he is actually genuinely confessing to her. So that, that fact is making her flustered. And that's why she's hesitating and she doesn't, doesn't know what to do. So the first thing she asks Kaguya is, wait, uh, uh, like, you know, you, you, can all, you, you are quite popular with everyone. So what do you do if you want to reject someone? <laughs> so that's how it, the whole conversation started. And uh, <clears throat> I actually thought that Kaguya was going to able, will be able to make the connection. She would realize that Ishigami has actually confessed but Kaguya was like wait Ishigami would never confess like that that means which she was correct you know Ishigami actually didn't confess she doesn't even know he confessed so Kaguya was actually right Kaguya read Ishigami correctly but the fact was Kaguya, uh, Ishigami doesn't even realize she confessed so that was the whole thing <laughs> so Kaguya was like he's not going to confess like that so it's, it, this must definitely be a job of someone else who is probably Ishigami's rival <laughs> she was like all right let me help out Ishigami and she just started being completely ruthless she's like ah you shouldn't like you know think about the much like you know stuff like that just be very like you know um brutal to them you know no need to think much you know and uh, you know whenever people used to like you know confess to me I always just because she just I think she says something which was just what does she say? Like the thing that she says here. Take that lust crazed gaze off me, you miserable swine. <laughs> She's like, that's how I actually reject people. <laughs> you should also try it. <laughs> and Subami was like, oh my god, that's too much. <clears throat> and Kage, as always, Kage is like uh, trying to, you know, like help out Ishigami. That's why she's like, you know, trying to make Subame most brutally turned down the person who confessed to him uh, to her now <laughs> subami was like okay i'm going to be ruthless you know like and then she's like oh yeah then she's like so after i'm i reject you know that person um uh, Kaguya, you, you should like you know do the aftercare kaga's like wait why why should i do the aftercare <laughs> subami was like because it's it's Ishigami, that's why. That's when Kaguya realized <laughs> what she did. She's like, okay, maybe you should not be that much ruthless. You know, like Ishigami is such a good boy. He, like, you know, like he'll be very disappointed if you like, can actually reject her, him like that. So maybe you should change your decision. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, that was funny. Either way, um, <clears throat> Now Ishi, uh, uh, Kaguya realizes that what is actually happening, the whole scenario is properly in her head now. She also realizes the fact that if Ishigami gets rejected, Shirogane will be preoccupied with Ishigami and obviously Kaguya is also Ishigami's friend so she cannot confess to Shirogane. And the, simil the same thing that Shirogane realized, you know, that Shirogane thought about. So. <clears throat> <laughs> she's like who even told Ishigami to confess like that but then, then she, but then she's like wait it was me <laughs> oh god either way you know all of that was happening and I, like I said like you know I actually realize the whole situation why Subame like I was kind of curious I was like after Ishigami confessed Subame became very like you know embarrassed she's just running away not kind of uh, you know like making eye contact and all so I was thinking maybe, maybe she, like, you know, Subame also likes him back or something like that. I was thinking that's why she was embarrassed. But I think it's different now. As like I said, this section kind of made me realize that it's not actually that she likes him because if she actually liked him, she wouldn't say something like, oh, how could I uh, reject him? That's one thing she would never have said. So, you know, like that's why I realized that it's, it's not that she likes him because that's why she was embarrassed. It was because she felt bad for the situation that she has to reject Ishigami and Ishigami is a very like you know genuine person so she, he will be hurt that's why she was hesitating and that was what making her flustered making her not make eye contact with Ishigami like this is something that I realize now okay so the situation is a little bit more complicated like as Subame uh, says that 
I want to reject him without hurting him or something like that. Either way, while all of this was happening, they like you know here that Chika is getting confessed to by by a person. <laughs> I love the fact that Chika was okay. So here we go. There's a quiz. <laughs> What does she ask? A weird question. But okay, here's a quiz for you. Either way, it's a feather, but what do you call a feather that's weightless? And the answer that she gives is so random. She's like, the correct answer is a heart that can enjoy itself to its fullest. Oh my god, what type of an answer is this? Either way, this was a really interesting way to reject someone. <laughs> Ask them a random quiz and give them a random answer that doesn't even make any sense. So I guess that's one way. <laughs> Subame was like, wait, should I do this as well? And Kago was like, no, don't, don't listen to her. She's a different type of person. <laughs> and, but you know, for now, like uh, we can see, Chika is just so preoccupied with the whole phantom thief situation that she's just, you know, like, completely you know, just submerge in that and she she's not even listening to anything else so now Kaguya and uh, Likun Subame are talking here's here one interesting thing happens um Subame runs a uh, Likun kind of runs into not runs into but kind of sees uh Eno getting confessed to and obviously like we know before we saw you know it's kind of like a you know person who just cannot i guess you know reject people and just kind of goes with the flow a lot like you know in that episode we so we heard, like, saw that what, what was that episode where it was kind of oh yeah that one episode where um i don't remember which episode it was but there was one episode where like i think ishigami said something like uh oh if like you know if someone confesses to uh, ino like you know she'll just be swept away by that and go along with it without even thinking and you know so a similar situation was happening here as well like these two were just you know just coming up and like oh let's go let's go on a break you know, just hang out with us all that so you know wasn't able to properly you know just reject them and she was just like okay maybe it's okay <laughs> thankfully ishigami and onodara came in <laughs> can we just whack you know <laughs> and she, he's like let's go <laughs> The fact here is that Subame realized that she doesn't even know Ishigami properly. No, she sees, like she says, like this is the first time I've seen Ishigami make a face like that, getting annoyed or actually hitting someone like that, even though it was like a playful hitting. Still, um, so Subame realizes that without even getting to know that person, rejecting that person doesn't feel right. So that's why she was like, okay, maybe you know what? Maybe I'll actually hold off my decision for now. Let me get to know more about Ish uh, Ishigami, then I'll think about it. And uh, you know, like, uh, like you know, which is which I kind of respect. You know, like she's she's thinking that okay, unless and until I know the complete that person completely, I I should like you know keep this on hold. And uh, you know, like she she's she herself doesn't know what she feels about Ishigami so after getting to know more about him he's probably going to come to her decision and for now so the whole uh, decision is postponed or at hold currently so we'll see what happens and the, the good thing here is that Ishigami does not realize that he has actually confessed so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing you know because imagine, oh my god, you know what, I, I, I'm thinking, like, imagine what would happen, because Ishigami does not know she has confessed. If Ishigami thinks that, okay, I'm going to confess now, he goes and confesses to Subame again, that would be really awkward, wouldn't it? Because he doesn't realize he has confessed. And Subame thinks that he has confessed. So if he actually decides to confess now and goes and tries to confess to Subame, It'll be like he confessed two times and Subame will be like, wait, what? You, know, you, you just confessed and I said that it was going to take a little bit of time for me. So why are you confessing again? Like, it'll be at that type of a situation. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, we'll have to wait and see what happens. And uh, yeah. 
Okay, the next scene we see Shirogane getting that on envelope with the uh, straf uh, the, uh, the acceptance letter and uh, which after getting it which obviously Shirogane made up his mind he was like all right I'm going to go and hang out with Kavya whatever the, the you know, whatever happens I'm going to do that and you know like because of getting the uh, envelope I think that's probably why he was so full of I wouldn't say confidence but not bothered by anything because he was determined he came in and he was like all right Kavya let's go and let's kind of move around the stalls and everything and kind of go around the cultural festival obviously Kavya does not realize the whole situation so she was like wait he's asking me out <laughs> and she's like all right this is the chance and he she tries to kind of you know like make the situation you know like she's like oh president so you are asking me to go around the cultural festival what's going to happen if people say that we are a couple you know if people are going to misunderstand what about that you know these type of situation like we saw these type of situations happening more previously as well and usually in these types of situations shirogana usually tries to kind of clap back and kind of bring up another point which is you know like i try to score a like you know like a, a point on the whole situation and tries to be at an advantage like they kind of go back and forth back and forth usually in these type of situations this time however shirogana knows the severity of the situation so he doesn't do that he's like okay yeah no problem like so what like you know do you have a problem with that i don't have any and kage was like okay it's no problem like her whole attempt was just foiled but you know like like i said shirogane is very serious now and everyone's just looking at them shirogane is just determined to con like you know just looking at forward going alongside uh, kaguya and everyone's like oh my god look at this like, you know, they're working together Kaguya is very flustered and Kaguya is like, I'm that this much flustered, but the president is nothing happening to him. He's not perturbed at all. She's like, let me try to do something and make him embarrassed as well. They go to the fortune telling booth and <laughs> the person here, she just asks weird questions. And <laughs> Kaguya is like, that's definitely going to make a uh, president uncomfortable. Okay, what's her name? Yume Atembo. Oh dear, the head of occult research club. Okay, so <laughs> we begin the um, what do you call it? The fortune telling, and weirdly enough, she was kind of I wouldn't say correct, but I feel like she was kind of hitting the mark on a lot of things, and uh, I don't know why, but she has all the bio data of each and every person. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but either way, you know she okay one thing was very interesting you know like one thing she said was very interesting which i'm going to talk about um first of all <laughs> she and i was like what do you think would happen if we get married <laughs> oh my god and i was like what's happening why is you know she gonna being this you know assertive and she says a lot of things. First, she says that you're very compatible. Okay, he, she says, Shirogane, you have the mental strength to carry out your will to the very end. That also makes you a gentle as well as a tenacious person. And above all, you have no qualms about occasionally deceiving others to further your goals. Occasionally deceiving others. You also have the shrewdness in you. So, which is something that I already, like, obviously everyone kind of knows that, like, Shirogane is like that, you know, like, he, he, he does, like, you know, kind of do stuff and tries to make something for his favor. And like he, he said, like, at times you are also ready to deceive others to get a favorable result, occasionally, not much. And he's shrewd, he's, uh, what, what did she say? He has a... It... No, where is that part? Like, <clears throat> mental strength and uh, tenacious, no, gentle. That also makes you gentle as well as tenacious. There you go. 
Like these are the qualities he has. Now, for uh, Kaguya, the, one of the things that she said was very interesting. She says, as your wife, Kaguya, uh, Shiromiya is also very shrewd. You're a perfect match for each other. Here we go. Shinomiya, you're like a crystal clear surface of water. What? This is a, one of the very... What can I say? Like, you know, this is a very interesting um, way of comparing her. She says that she is a very, like a crystal clear surface of water. Pure water that can transform with the changing colors of the sky, which is such an interesting statement this part you can turn evil if you're with an evil person and become virtuous if you're with a virtuous person i i think she is full spot on completely here like like she said kaguya is also shrewd but the person that she is with is going to shape the way she is that's why she said you are like the clear surface of water you change with the change of color of sky you know, if you're with an evil person you'll be evil if you're with a virtuous person you'll be virtuous i don't think i've ever thought about it like that and now that i'm thinking about this after the statement i think she's spot on kaguya does seem like a person like that you know like she is so devoted to someone that she is going to, I don't know, like turn to be that type of a person with, with whoever person she tries to devote herself to. This, like, you know, like, it's Shirogane here. That's why, like she said, Shirogane is a good person. So she'll always be a good person because she'll be with Shirogane. But if it was someone else, if it was someone bad and she, and she was devoted to that person, you know, she would have she would have become someone like that she would have become like a, an evil person you could say just because she is with someone like that like her main thing is devotion you know like she's so devoted to someone that it changes her own way of you know like life or own way she lives her life just like how the water changes color with the sky's color you know, she also changes color with the person she is with which like i said it, it shows her devotion that's that's basically it and uh, like we we very much know that kabe is very devoted so yeah that, that was such an interesting like you know um thing now like this kind of makes me think like what would have happened if shirogane was actually evil like and not evil as for evil, but if she he was like not as virtuous as he is, you know, I wonder what would have happened. Like, you know, Kaguya would have probably you know kind of changed like that to match Shirogane. She would also become a person like him. Because obviously she would like you know, like the whole premise is everything is the same I'm talking about. Only Shirogane's personality, if it was different, what would have happened? I'm thinking it about it now. And uh, like damn like she just think that she said I'm, I'm i'm she's spot on i'm guessing either way enough about that so another thing she says which is kind of interesting she says your day of destiny is oddly enough today when you'll be faced with a crucial decision regarding your future which i'm guessing was the final section where shirogane says that i have my acceptance letter what could that decision be? I wonder. Okay, so there you go. This whole decision thing, you know, and uh, I'm pretty sure everyone can. I think that's probably it. The final section that we saw was the decision making time. Either way, you know, like Shirogane and Kaga came outside and they're trying to go around the stalls and everything. But in comes Chika and Kaguya was like, oh my God, my whole day is going to be ruined now she's going to you cannot she's mess with everything because obviously whenever chica is involved nothing goes according to plan but chica is very like you know uh just into the whole uh arsene like you know like the the whole phantom thief thing she doesn't even look at her just goes along on her own way i'm just like wow like god is today on my side 
Oh god. Now, as she was, she was going, in comes Ishigami. Ishigami is just all zombie-like walking. Now, I don't know if this was a, like a Resident Evil reference. I'm, I'm talking about the game, Resident Evil game. But that section, like, you know, really reminded me of not the Resident Evil games that we have now. Not 7, 8, or 5, or 6. Not those. But the, the, the old Resident Evil games. I, I think, like, you know, you, we used to have these type of things, didn't we? In Resident Evil 1 or 2, where there was, like, this one place, and there was these pixelated characters they used to go around and attack and fight the zombies and i think that was a definitely there you go it is a it is a resident evil reference on the um <laughs> my god on the uh haunted house uh the 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 door is i think it's written biohazard isn't it it's not written bio yeah it is written biohazard there you go that's the Resident Evil reference. Obviously, Biohazard, Re Resident Evil. Okay, I was kind of thinking, like, was that a Resident Evil reference? It is. The way she was running around, the whole pixelated thing. That was so cool. I love the references that these shows make. And I love the fact that there was actually Japanese subtitles there as well. <laughs> that was so good. Oh my god. Either way... Um... Okay. <clears throat> Oh no, sorry, it's written Biotic Hazard, which is obviously a Biohazard reference, you know, Resident Evil Biohazard. <laughs> anyway, anyway, enough about Resident Evil. Um, okay, Ishikami was like, oh my god, Ishigami is coming, what should I do? And uh, Subame comes in and she's like, Ishigami, let's go, let's go around and kind of look at more stalls. And Ishigami is like, all, like, he was all zombified and now he's like, alright, yes, let's go. <laughs> all fine. And Subame goes to Kaguya and tells her that um, it's okay. Like, you know, I've decided to give you my answer after giving it some thought. I don't think I'll end up having to ask you to take care of him. There you go. And she's like, you have fun. Which obviously means that she's going to keep her uh, answer on hold. You know, like, that's why she said, like, I'm going to, you know, like, think about my answer and then think. Like, Either way, all of this was happening and, uh, okay, she was like, my god, everything is going well today, what's happening, god is on my side, and Eno comes in as well, but Eno is hungry, <laughs> a, a random person from the rugby, rugby club, I think, comes in and he's like, go in, food is in here, and Eno goes there, trying to have food, and Kaguya is like, wow, everything is going so beautifully today, and then we had a little... Ayasaka concert was happening. Kaguya was eating, like, you know, like food with Shirogane. She was having fun. Shirogane was, uh, like, you know, kind of, what do you call it? Like, cleaning her, her face. Like, you know, probably some crumbs in, in, in her face. And, yeah, everything is looking so good. Kaguya is very happy. They go to the student council at the end of the day. And, Shirogane is like, Kaguya, I have something important to say. Kaguya thinks that he wants to confess. Unfortunately, it's not that easy because, yeah, he's not confessing, but he's going to tell her about the whole letter of acceptance. And he says that. He's like, here you go, gives him the letter, sees it. Shirogane is like, this is my letter of acceptance, I'm going to go abroad. And this will be my final uh, cultural festival because I'm going to skip one grade, which is something that I did not know. I did not know that she's, he's skipping a grade. So that makes this even more, you know, the, the situation even more serious, I guess you could say, because he doesn't have any time. This is the final cultural festival and next year he'll be at Stanford. So whatever happens should happen within this small amount of time. So I don't know how this is going to go. Like th this, this really feels like it's the end of the show. But I, I think the manga is still ongoing. So I don't know how this is going. To, what's going to happen? Like I'm, I have no clue. Like I would have said that oh this is going to probably this we're at the finale. But I don't think this is the finale. So I wonder how this is going to go now. 
because obviously Kaguya realizes now that yeah like there's no time so I don't know who is going to confess and probably Shirogan is going to confess if Kaguya doesn't confess or both of them are going to confess either way everything's going to be happening within a few more episodes I'm guessing probably in this season as well the whole conclusion is going to happen but after that what I'm thinking about that you know like the after that what's going to happen I doubt this is the end so I'm kind of curious like you know like no like no need to spoil me if you have obviously a lot of people are manga readers uh, no need to tell me anything I'm, I'm just like, you know, like stating my thoughts that I wonder what's going to happen here because it seems like it's the end but I don't think it's the end so we'll see Anyways, so that was it. That was my reaction to Kage-sama Love is War Season 3 Episode number 11. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Kage-sama Love is War Season 3. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.